Okay, then. Um, Welcome to the 13th meeting of 2023 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have received apologies today from our convener, Stuart McMillan, MSP. In his place, can I welcome Rona Mackay, MSP. And before we move um, to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present to switch mobile phones to silent, please. Okay, the first business the first item of business is a declaration of interest. In accordance with section three of the Code of Conduct, I invite Rona Mackay MSP to declare any interest relevant to the remit of the committee. Thank you, Convener. Nothing to declare. Thank you very much, Rona Mackay, and welcome to the committee today. Uh, the next item of business is to decide whether to take item five in private. Is the committee content to take this item in private? Yes. Yes, we are. Thank you. Under Agenda Item 3, we are considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure, and no points have been raised on the Draft Climate Change Scotland Act 2009 Interim Target Amendment Regulations 2023. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. We are. Thank you very much. Under Agenda Item 4, we are considering four instruments subject to the negative procedure. An issue has been raised on one of the instruments, SSI 2023-101, the Town and Country Planning Development Planning Scotland Regulations 2023. The instrument makes provision in connection with the preparation of local development plans under the Town and Country Planning Scotland Act 1997. In correspondence with the Scottish Government, which has been published alongside the agenda for this meeting, the committee highlighted an apparent failure to narrate in the preamble that the constitution, a consultation requirement in section 16b, brackets 15, of the 1997 Act had been fulfilled. The committee also identified a cross-referencing error in regulation 25 of the instrument. The Scottish Government acknowledged that there has been a failure to follow proper drafting practice on account of the failure to narrate the consultation requirement in the preamble of the instrument. However, it does not consider that any corrective action is required. The Scottish Government also confirmed that there had been a cross-referencing error. Regulation 25 should refer to the section 4ZA brackets 3 B2 of the 1997 Act instead of Section 4ZA brackets 3B3, it has the opportunity to correct the error at the next available opportunity. And now, um, does the committee wish to draw this instrument to the committee of the uh, to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground for failure to follow? proper drafting practice on account of the failure to narrate the consultation requirement in section 16b brackets 15 of the Town and Country Planning Scotland Act 1997 in the preamble. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So that's to be drawn attention. And in respect of the cross-referencing error whereby regulation 25 should refer to section 4ZA brackets 3b2 instead of section 4za brackets 3b3. Does the committee wish to note that the Scottish Government has undertaken to correct the cross-referencing error at the next available opportunity? Yes. Thank you very much. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2023, 98, 113 and 114. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. We are. Thank you very much indeed. On that basis, we will move the committee into private. Thank you.